Hey guys, what's going on? Will, Flawless Exotic Creations, coming to you guys with another video. This is going to be another one for the Gene Chaser series. Um, been getting a lot of good feedback from you guys, so we're going to bring you more and more content. We're not going to stop. So, um, this actual series is out there, being put out there for the newbie keepers, uh, newbie breeders. Uh, hopefully the bridge the gap with a lot of questions a lot of concerns with some of the genes and what you're working with um, And how to work it in certain projects um, But we're right now at the stage of just talking about specific genes uh, Trying to single out some of them in the collection even like ours right now We have 160 plus uh, snakes where we don't have a ton of single gene animals. So we would like to talk about the single genes and how they contribute to some of these heavy hitter combos that we're getting into. Um, but like I said, this series is for everyone. So we want you to hit the subscribe button, you know, follow this series, follow our journey, um, hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified when we drop in these videos. Uh, we really appreciate, you know, all the comments and support that you guys give us on a day-to-day -day basis, especially on our other social media, media like Instagram and Facebook um, and TikTok or the TikTok, how Audra puts it. Um, so thank you guys so much uh, for what you've done for us thus far. But here we go. So this week we're going to be talking about fire. Uh, fire is a very interesting gene. It's a gene that's, you know, we actually don't have too much of. Um, we do have it almost in its simplest form, so we'll be able to show that off today, which is, is pretty cool to be able to show it off, you know, without the pastel or anything else enhancing it, you know, like that. But, and I believe fresh out of shed too, so you'll get to see all the cool colors and pattern. Now, fire interrupts definitely the pattern uh, with your snakes, um, as well as the color. So, we actually hatched out a couple fires. Um, if you check us out on Instagram and here, we believe we put up a short on YouTube showing off, you know, some some triple hats um, that are fire in a future project. We're going to continue to work with those. But, you know, to me, uh, fire, as far as the pattern, it gives you almost like a Tetris. I don't know you old school people out there that used to play Tetris. Um, it almost gives you a Tetris uh, pattern to it on the sides. Um, that's how I see it, um, but I am colorblind, you know, God knows I need help, Audra's my help when it comes to the colors, but um, it gives you that Tetris look, it's definitely lighter than normals, uh, when you're dealing with the single gene expression, along with the head influences, it was very easy for us to tell um, which were fires and which were normals in that clutch that we had posted earlier. Um, so we're going to show off a fire today, which is further along and, you know, I wish we could show off them babies to compare them, but they haven't had their first shed or deep in shed already. Um, so it really wouldn't work to kind of show those off. Um, fire is a color enhancing gene and, you know, obviously a pattern altering gene. Uh, it almost appears almost a goldish, uh, in color when compared to the normal, uh, dullish, uh, normal color. Um, it... For me, it, it just make fire makes everything better. Um, it truly does. It is a part of that, you know, <laughs> that bell complex. So you got to be careful with certain combos. But um, we really, really like the gene. We haven't worked with it too much. But uh, let's show some off. So this girl here is fire heck clown. That's the only things at play here. This is actually Kazaya, my daughter's snake. <laughs> This is one of the snakes. You see how small she is, even though she's a good size. This is what got us all started. <laughs> us being stationed next to Bob in a Fort Mill show. And uh, me talking business with Bob and my daughter loving snakes. This is the snake that got us started. This was the very, very first purchase for my daughter. Um, so if she'll open up for us, let me show you. So look at the sidewall. She has a lot of white to her. And here is the tetris like patterning that <laughs> i was referring to she's super bright clean clean belly absolutely beautiful look at it. 
fit those puzzle pieces together just like Tetris. I don't know. I guess that's a weird uh, comparison, but that's how I see it. She's extremely bright, but she does not have that dull, normal look. And normals are beautiful, but that dull, normal look, you can tell that, you know what, she's fire. She has some blushing on her dorsal. She's all around beautiful. Not quite sure how my daughter wants to work her. Um, my daughter's going to be in control of her whole project and who she works with. She has a couple, she has two snakes. And um, her being a part of the Flawless brand, she'll be able to choose whatever male we have as her breeding partner. And maybe use the remnants to purchase her a new car <laughs> when she comes to size. So stay tuned and we'll hopefully give you guys updates with her. Okay, next we're going to show fire off with a newer gene, not new. And while we're on, you know, Bob Vu, it's a Bob Vu gene. So this is actually a fire voodoo. It, now, voodoo is a very uh, a granite gene. Now, look at the difference between the previous snake's belly and now her belly. Her belly is very, um, it changes the color. It's not as clean as the fire by itself, but that's because we added this granite gene. Check out the pixelation and the alien heads. There are no clean alien heads on either side of her. So this is just fire and voodoo. Belly still clean, but just not as clean as a single gene fire. Dorsal, definitely completely different dorsal. But check out those sides. Completely transformed the snake by just adding voodoo. So this combo is really, really cool and works very well together. Uh, we will love to get this in a few different projects. Um, obviously, we're going to put it into a lot of recessive, but we may see what it's like with puzzle first. So something interesting to think about. So what do we have here? We do not we do not have any super form. Wow, your face is dirty. I'm going to have to clean you up. But we don't have any super forms, but actually it's kind of cool that we can show off if the lighting will allow us to the allelic version of this uh, fire gene. So fire is allelic with vanilla. Often resembles the same exact gene, but they are two different genes that can't be visually told apart, but uh, if that's the right way to say that. But when you mix them and you both, you hit on both, this is what you get. This is the, now she does have inchy in her. And her clutch actually just hatched out. So you guys will see that video soon as well. She was bred to a tri-stripe albino boy. And she is inchy. You can see the banding on her. She's an inchy cream, which is the vanilla and fire combo. Now, with her being a lelic, every single one of her babies will be fire or vanilla. But you will not, or we will not be able to tell the difference between the two. So she's pretty cool. She's going to be here for quite some time. We love those allelic combos. It's almost like having a, a recessive without having a recessive. So it's cool. We'll work this a few different ways in the years to come. So, 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 we have... A pied girl here well right off the bat extremely high coverage pie I mean really down about 95% coverage on her but check out that same Tetris pattern fire is very strong influence on this female on her presentation um, checking her out she's really really wonky think she may have another gene at play here and we're gonna prove it out over the years we're gonna work with her for quite some time but check out those patterns, just like the single gene fire that we showed up earlier, just a little bit more crazier. And we think the pie influence on that pattern is what makes it a little bit crazier. Look at the blushing. Fire makes everything better. It really does. 
Inspire Pod. Possibly another gene at play. She's beautiful. And she's the mom of the clutch we showed and spoke about earlier. Or showed on our short on our channel. So there you got it. Um, cleaned up that, that inchy girl, that inchy scream girl, cream girl. Um, really cool project to get into or to work fire loving it makes everything brighter um makes everything better so far from what we can see definitely not a gene that we're going to stay away from we're definitely going to input more of it into different uh complexes and programs that we're working with especially with that voodoo really love how that's turning out now to work that in the puzzle um get a little bit of a gold color uh with fire but we definitely prefer it over the normal brown um definitely enhances the color uh changes the pattern just fire does a lot it's very simple gene very cheap uh to get into to get started but add it to a few different programs and watch it work wonders especially pod i mean love that that combo with just being a fire pod and possibly something else at play so Hopefully you guys are really liking this series. This is the Gene Chaser series. We're starting with very, very introductory uh, genes. We're new. We're gonna keep putting it out there that we're new. We're not professionals at this thing quite yet. Um, we're gonna grow, and hopefully you guys will be along for the ride while we grow. Subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all our content, all our videos, as well as our shorts and pictures that we post. Definitely go on Instagram, Facebook, follow the journey. Um, we've built a lot, we've purchased a lot, we've created a lot already. Check us out on Morph Market. Um, we had a bunch posted on Morph Market as available, have a ton more coming. We've moved this our first year and we've already moved 20 plus snakes. So we're 20 plus snakes sold already. Not bad. Um, we got a long road ahead of us, <laughs> but we just going to keep branding and, you know, trucking along, you know, roll with the punches. But it's been an amazing journey. You guys have been amazing to us. We love all the feedback. We love all the comments. Keep it all coming. We really, really appreciate it. And it mo motivates us to do more like this series here. Again, this is going to be a series that's going to bridge the gap between the experienced breeder, not us, <laughs> and the newbie introductory breeder, which is us, and trying to make it on a big level. We found that a lot of people have aspirations and dreams, and some fall short when it comes to follow through. Um, so you never know, just a, a kind gesture or a nice word may help somebody get through their day, you know, and we want to be a part of that community, part of this community that brings positivity um, to the community and promotes positivity. So that's that's definitely us. And if that's you, hit that subscribe bell. I mean, hit the subscribe button and click the <laughs> notification bell. But that's Will, Flawless Exotic Creations. We out.